Welcome back sports fans. It's challenge day and region championship Friday for high school baseball around the state. As the regular season comes to a close, we begin our coverage in the international city at Ed Dyson Field. Northside hosting the Houston County Bears, a baseball program that had dominated in county competition to the tune of 58 and 9 over the past 10 years. And tonight, the black and silver would add to that total. In the first, the Bears do what you like. Coleman Willis starts things off with a two RBI double. And that would score Trayson Hughes and Andrew Dunford, and that makes it 2 nothing. Next, that bat, around and round, around you go. Drew Burris doubles with the laser down the hot corner. In comes Willis, and the Bears lead by a field goal. Same inning. Stop what you're doing, because Trent Ringer is about to ruin the image and the style that you're used to with another two-out base hit, and that scores Burris with the RBI single and his 4 nothing visitors. Next inning. It's just the way we swing. Gage Harrelson picks things right back up where they left them. It's an RBI single plating EJ Lewis. But check out this wet gym in the third. Gabe Batista. He's spunky. He likes his oatmeal lumpy. Robs Andrew Dunford of a would be dinger. Wow. Number one goes airborne. Check it out again. He makes the out against the wall. What a great play from the junior. Take a bow, sir. But at the end of the day, all around the world, same song. Hoko sweeps the Eagles 14-2 in game one and 17-1 in game two. The Bears are your region 1-6A region champs. A region championship on the line in Dexter as well. West Lawrence and Perry, the top two teams in 4A region four. Winner takes all. Tyler Franks on the mound for the Raiders, and he sets the tone early. Strikes out three to open the ball game. He'd finish with four Ks and a one run allowed in six innings work. First inning, backs working for the Raiders. Gunner Jeffers. Gaps one up the gut with bases loaded. That's a single, but one of three runs the Raiders score in the first. They go up three to nothing. Seventh inning, ball game 4-1. Perry looking to rally. Lane Rucker sends this one high and deep. Grayson Clark trying to track it down, but he hits the fence. No worries, he'd be okay, but Perry collects a run to close the gap 4-2. The Panthers now have life. Rally time, two outs now. Panthers trying to steal second. And they will be gunned down by Ethan Hart. Tag would be close. He's called out. And that's how it ends. Wes Lawrence avenged their early loss to Perry. And they are your region four champs. Game ball goes to Tyler Franks on senior night. I never really thought it would come. But uh, it just went by fast. This game, this seasons went by fast. And it was just very memorable. This game, I'm always going to remember this. But the, the team's just playing as, as a unit. You know, we've got a great culture right here, the best I've seen it um, at West Lawrence since I've been here. So I think we're on a special road right here, um, and I just challenge the guys just to do the absolute best they can. And like I tell them at the end of the day, if you leave it all out here, there's nothing else you can do. 